So you want to uh, find out how you can add a user to your Amazon S3 bucket. And I'm going to, um, it might, you're probably been looking in the wrong place because you might have thought you it would be that you would set the permissions uh, here in the S3 section, but the actual best place is to go into the IAM, the secure access control area. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a user. So we're going to click on users, create new users. And I highly recommend that you always use uh, an email address for instead of a username. So whatever the person's uh, email address becomes the username and we click create. And uh, it gives you this confirmation message. You can um, you can download the credentials if you want, um, but and it will prompt you again. I'm going to go ahead and close that window. And uh, now what we do is we tick the box next to the new user you've created, and we need to do two more things. One, we need to um, set some uh, general permissions. Uh, and we also need to set some permissions that will allow them access to your Amazon S3. But we also need to set the security credentials by adding a password. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to attach a user policy and we're going to select power user access. Uh, you know, rather than giving the full complete access, we're going to just give um, the power um, access, which will be fine. And then we're also going to click attach uh, again, and we're going to go down to policy generator, and we click select, and we're going to go right down to Amazon S3, and we are going to give ac full access to this would be if it's this would be if you're giving access or permission to someone who's going to administer. Uh, your Amazon S3 for you, so it might be your assistant or your website developer. And um, this part's a little bit tricky because we need to add in a little bit of um, uh, kind of a custom information here. So that's going to be ARN colon AWS colon S3 and then three colons and the asterisks. And then once you've added that in, you click Add Statement. It appears uh, down here. And then we're going to click Continue. And uh, so it's created that code, but we can ignore that and just click Apply Now. So we've now got our permission set up. And we just need to add a password for our user that we've created. So here's the username. Uh, to add the username, we're going to click on Manage Passwords. We're going to click assign a custom password and we just enter that in and uh, they ask you to confirm it and then you click apply. Make sure you make a note of uh, the password so you can send it on to your user. And one final thing, if we click back to dashboard, you'll notice here that uh, we've got this user sign in URL. So I'm just going to show you if I copy that and we this is this is you're going to want to send this URL to your um, new user and they should be able to log in with the new credentials that you've just created. And so we sign in. And I'm just going to show you, so it takes you into the dashboard. You can see we're logged in as the, the new user. And now if I go to Amazon S3, you're going to see that I have access to, uh, to in this case, it's two buckets. So it's given permission to, uh, to that, that they can go ahead and they can add things and, and they can make changes to those buckets if they choose to.